Hey guys, I tried to make this video earlier today, but it ended up being like 13 minutes or something. And that's just too long. So I am here to do it now, which is unfortunate because I'm actually a little bit just kind of bah right now. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I'm not embarrassed, but I just don't know how to describe it. So I was talking to my boss that I don't see very often. And I was telling him how I'm trying to get not the whole word like, but the valley girl like out of the little girl's speech because she has really picked that up and she uses it a lot. And even tonight when I was sitting there talking to him, she was telling a story and said something along the lines of, and like when the sun went down and I made her re-say it without the like. And he goes, well, you know who she got that from, right? And I said, his wife. And he goes, no, no, I'm married to her. And she never talks to me like that. And I said, well, she must talk to you like a businessman because she says that a lot around me. And we end up kind of feeding off of each other and both end up saying it more around each other, which is a problem. Neither one of us likes it, but it happens. And Alana's picked up on it and he said well that's that's pretty possible um, but that's something I'm trying to work on and he just totally called me out he goes yeah you kind of have some valley girl in you and I mean I live in California so the ums and the likes are just something I'm never going to escape hearing and when there's people around that talk in those ways, it's really easy to fall back into it. And it's something that I am really trying to stop and I'm trying to get it out of my vocabulary and way of speech. I just don't like it. It sounds ridiculous. And it may be cute to hear a four-year-old tell a story like that, but it's not so cute to hear a 25-year-old tell a story like that. So I'm tr I've been trying to get it out of my speech and apparently it's not working so well. <sighs> anyway, so in terms of weight loss, I did not end up going to Weight Watchers this week because I worked late and Weight Watchers starts in about seven minutes and it will, would take me 15 at least to get there. So I'm not making Weight Watchers this week, but I can almost guarantee you that I would have gained a little bit. Last week I did gain a little bit. I did make a video afterwards. I was very, very frustrated in the video. And then I just couldn't get the internet. Our internet has been acting up. So I couldn't get the internet to stick long enough to let me upload the video. So that didn't work out. Hopefully this one will. Last week I gained 0.8 and I'm thinking a big part of it is mental because I was 0.2 away from 170. So I was right about to break into the next set of 10s down and I have had a mental block with that since I can remember. So I'm thinking that's a big part of what happened. And this week I just kind of, I've had such a busy week at work. I've been working late, I've been working early, I've been taking on extra babysitting and shifts and blah, 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 blah. So I just didn't end up working out very much. And It just kind of sucks. So there's that. I will update next week with more about oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. More about weight in terms of other things. Let's see. Weight adoption. Adoption is still um, in progress. We officially start classes in October. They're for our agency, it is, um, sorry, for our agency, it is nine classes spread over 10 weeks because there's no, it's on Thursday evenings and there's no 
class on Thanksgiving. So it will be nine classes spread over 10 weeks starting in October. They will be done by the end of the year, which is really exciting. And that is a big chunk of our home study. And the first interview will be happening in the next few weeks. It'll happen, our first interview for adoption will happen before our first class. So that is super exciting. Let's see, what other news? In terms of trying to conceive, we are still not trying, not preventing. I'm not, I have not been charting or OPKing, which has been kind of nice. It's not as stressful. But this cycle is totally weirding me out. So last cycle was 28 day cycle, which is weird for me. I've never had a cycle that short. And I'm assuming it's because of the injectables. Um, after I stopped Clomid for about a year, and the, the half-life is such that it takes about a year for Clomid to get fully out of your system. And that was pretty true for me because at about the year mark, my ovulation started going later and later. Um, dang it, there's that oh my god. And now with the injectables, I ovulated earlier, excuse me, in my cycle with injectables than I did with Clomid because it was forced. And I I think I ovulated like cycle day 14 or 15 last cycle and then I had a 28 day cycle so that was crazy to me it was so weird on cycle day 29 when AF came and I I like flipped out anyway so this cycle it's either cycle day 22 or 23 depending on if last month was a 31 or a 30 or 31 day month. I can't remember if it was 30 or 31 days. And that would determine whether it was cycle day 22 or 23. So I'm expecting AF to show in the next few days here. And I will only test for this cycle if I make it to the first with no AF. If I make it to the first with no AF, then I will test and uh, I'm so tired. Excuse me. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I know it's getting like super crazy light and I apologize. I'm just not going to have any more time to make this video. That's really it. So we are still technically trying. We're not using any form of prevention. Still very much hoping. Still saving for IVF. I have opened an Etsy store. I just need to get stuff onto it. And we are starting to look at setting up consultations with IVF clinics around us and looking into various ways to do IVF, IVF vacations or what have you. And then there is other exciting news, but I'm not going to share it quite yet because I'm not sure if it's going to happen. So if it does, I'll share when I know for sure. If it doesn't, I will share when I know for sure. And other than that, there's not much left to say besides, of course, uh, sticky baby dust to all of those who have their new BFPs. I know there's a lot of new BFPs in the community and baby dust to those still trying. And I hope, I hope, I hope that you all get your BFPs very, very soon. And that's that's really about it. It's gonna be getting really dark now, as you can tell. So I will talk to you all later. And that's it. Bye guys.